Across from an El Paso shopping plaza, down a suburban street is a detention center for migrants. This is now part of life along the U.S.-Mexican border. That which is normalized is not protested against. That which is normalized simply because it becomes an omnipresence. The number of people who've been captured or turned themselves into the U.S. Border Patrol has dropped from more than 100,000 a month to 72,000 in July. In El Paso, that's still six times higher than a year ago. Over the summer, the government was criticized for keeping people under bridges and in overcrowded facilities. But with emergency money from Congress, new detention centers are now being built. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says it's dramatically increased detention capacity in recent weeks. In Texas, an additional 4,500 migrants are being held in tent cities. The government says that the people inside are well cared for and protected from the desert sun. But the migrant deaths still continue. Two weeks ago, a 33-year-old man from El Salvador died shortly after being arrested. More than a dozen migrants, including children, have died in government custody in the past year and a half. The cruelty is the point. All of this is meant to be a deterrent. It is meant to be a deterrent. It is meant to be a punishment. Then there's the recent allegation that a Border Patrol agent in Yuma, Arizona, sexually assaulted a detained 15-year-old girl. The U.S. Homeland Security Secretary says that is under investigation. Any allegation that's raised it by, by policy must be immediately reported to an independent investigative agency uh, and they're going to take that for action. Critics say the migrants are refugees and should be greeted with assistance rather than arrest and possible abuse. The U.S. government says it's trying to enforce the law in a humanitarian manner as more and more people are being detained. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, El Paso, Texas.